The Lumix BGH-1 can work with external recorders over both HDMI and SDI. And if you're working with external recorders, there's a few things in the camera that you may want to configure to make that experience better. The first thing that we're going to set up is recording control. What this means is that when you push the red button on the camera, that will trigger recording in either your HDMI or SDI recorder. Now, before we can set that up, we actually have to configure a couple other things in the camera. Before you can turn on either HDMI or SDI recording control, you have to enable timecode output. And before you can enable timecode output, you have to switch from the default recording format of MP4 over to MOV. Let's have a look at how to do this. Now, we can configure this either using an external display and the buttons on the camera or using the Lumix Tether app. And that's what I'm going to do. Open the camera's menu, navigate to the camera menu, and then image format one. You'll see under here that timecode is not currently available. And that's because recording file format is set to MP4. Go ahead and change that to MOV. Click yes. And now timecode is enabled. From here, I can choose to output timecode over HDMI or SDI. I can do both or either one. I'll go ahead and turn both of these on. There and there. And now I'm ready to enable recording control. Go to the gear menu. Under the in and out menu, you'll see both HDMI recording output and SDI recording output. I'll start with HDMI. HDMI recording control is currently off. And before I click on, I want you to look over here on the left-hand side of the menu. You'll see the record button. This will trigger recording in the camera itself. However, if you look underneath it, you'll see, well, nothing. But watch what happens as soon as I turn on HDMI recording control. Now that that's on, it says HDMI underneath it. The same thing's gonna happen when I enable SDI. Let's go to SDI recording output and set recording control to on. Now we see both HDMI and SDI under that button. What this means now is when I click on that record button, it's gonna trigger recording on both an HDMI and an SDI recorder if they're there. Now before I hit record, I wanna point out that there's a new indicator on the display. You'll see it says both HDMI and SDI and they both have a pause button next to them. Once I hit record either in the software or on the camera itself, those will change to a record icon. I'll go ahead and trigger it using the software. And you'll see here that it is recording. You'll also see that it says no memory card and remote recording only. This is warning me that I do not have a memory card in the camera, so the only recording that's happening is on the external recorder. We can actually record simultaneously, internally, and externally with this camera. Let me go ahead and stop recording. I'll take an SD card and insert that into the camera. And now I'll trigger recording again, this time using the button on the camera itself. I tap record, and we can see here that it is recording. The red box indicates that the Ninja itself is recording, and we're recording both internally and externally. There's one more thing that I want to point out, though. You may have noticed that I'm seeing the entire camera menu information displayed on the screen right now, which means that since I'm looking at the recorder, I'm actually recording all of that information into my file, which you definitely don't want to do. So to disable that, you need to press the FN1 button until that screen is clean. At this point, we now have a clean HDMI output allowing me to record a clean signal. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the information back on because next we're gonna move into our raw recording setup. To enable raw recording in the camera, let's go back into the menu. I'll go back into the camera's menu. Under the camera menu here, I'll go to the second image format page where I see HDMI raw data output. It's currently off. We'll go ahead and turn that on and it does warn me at this point that the menu screen cannot be displayed over the HDMI port. Right now, we've been seeing the HDMI image showing us the camera menu system, but once we enable raw output, we're not gonna be able to see that over the HDMI. You will still, however, be able to see it over SDI, so you could view this over a connected SDI monitor, or of course, you can see the settings in the computer itself. I'll go ahead and click yes. And now the Ninja tells me that it's detected a raw signal. I'll go ahead and tap okay, and the Ninja reboots into a raw recording mode. And that's how you configure your BGH-1 to both trigger an external recorder and how to configure it for recording in RAW. Panasonic.